Well guys, welcome back to the channel for another video, another no face video. I'm going to make this one short and sweet. Uh, this is a stock I have pre that's previously come on my radar that I wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit. It has massive upside potential to make a lot of money, but also comes with a lot of risk as well. So you guys watch out for that if you are looking into this stock too. So this is called HCMC Healthier Choices in GMT Corp. It's been all over the internet, it's been all over Reddit and several other places uh, for some of the, the information surrounding it. So this is why I want to talk about it. But looking at it is basically um, healthier HCMC is a US based publicly traded company specializing in providing consumers with healthier alternatives to everyday lifestyle choices. HCMC owns an intellectual property suite comprised of patents issued by both the US and Canada. These patents have primary focus on safer vaping technology. You guys know how vaping is these days, uh, how popular it is, should I say, as well as uh, synthetic or imitation nicotine uh, compositions, process and methods. Processes and methods of manufacture. HCMC continues to innovate and hopes these to expand these suites. So they own a lot of intellectual property. That's basically what this that this company does. It has three choices. HCMC Intellectual Property Holdings LLC, HCM Healthy Choices Markets, and the Vape Stores. This is basically the three companies. You know, it, it's it's <laughs> this is basically the, the combination of, of companies together, right? So HCMC. Um, Let's look at the price a little bit and then we'll look at a little other information here. So looking at this price, looking at this price change over the past month, it'll go from literally nothing to to what it is now at four cents. Um, that's because the price was incredibly low. OK, like I said, over a 200 um, percent spike last week. But looking at some information here on Yahoo Finance. So. The market capitalization is 451 million, so this is a micro cap stock. You know, uh, obviously, doesn't very doesn't really make money. Um, some of the balance sheet isn't too bad, but that's really not why we're here. We're not really here to look at the balance sheet when it comes to companies like this. This is more of a super speculative play, uh, in my position, in my opinion. What what I would say. Uh, for sure looking at some of the information here so shares outstanding is 105 billion you guys know shares outstanding basically means the number of shares that is already bought up and then the float is 86 billion which is how much shares are available available so the percent of shares outstanding uh, is held by insiders 21% so a little under a quarter is 21% okay so that's quite a bit for the market capitalization, um, the float and the shares outstanding. But needless to say, there has been a lot of things going on lately with this company uh, as far as with news coming out, speculation coming out, all of that. Look at that 52 week change in stock price history, 9,000, almost 10,000. 200 day moving average 0 0.0003 cents 50 day moving average 0 0.0009 cents i think within the past like month um whoever bought in previously made like a 300 percent gain they and lately they have been talking about doing also a reverse stock split which you guys know basically takes multiple shares and puts it into one and jacks the price up uh they also have been talking about doing share buybacks all that which could potentially artificially raise the price up but looking at which we don't even really have to do this, but looking at some of the um, balance sheet here, total assets, 14 million total assets and 7 million in total debt. So obviously they're operating a little bit away from debt, which is good. The, the ratio and that is OK. But I mean, like I said, with this company in general, for the speculative play it is and for the reasons we would be buying it and holding it or trading it we wouldn't necessarily be looking too deep into the fundamentals unless you're trying to hold it long term and looking back real quick so the average volume is usually uh what is it, 600 million and the recent volume is 4 billion so that's huge that's a humongous you can see the activity i mean coming from 
you know, all this news coming about, right? They have lawsuits. They have lawsuits. They're suing Philip Morris. They have uh, people shouting them out on, on on Reddit, on Wall Street bets, all types of crazy stuff going on. So this could potentially be a uh, snatch and grab scenario, pump and dump. I don't necessarily, you know, I don't necessarily fool with these too much, but hey, I'll, I'll, I'll catch a ride up if I can. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, yeah. And again, the three companies under the HCMC shell um, intellectual property suite, 10 U.S. guaranteed, two S pat, 10 U.S. patents uh, granted in the last 24 months, several patents pending for, you know, several different things, cannabis, CBD, e-cigarette, vaporizer, and tobacco, which is fantastic, right? But look at some of this information right here. If you want to look at some more of the fundamentals down here. Delivered strong results with third quarter and year-to-date adjusted EBITDA improvements of 36 and 68 percent, respectively, year over year. Third quarter gross profit and revenue increased eight and five percent, respectively, year over year. Eliminated 49 million out of the 53 million of its remaining warrant liability. So they have been actively improving this company. Which you, you 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 can see from the balance sheet, and you can see from this here balance sheet highlights strong cash to liquidity, strong cash and liquidity position, eight million in cash. Nearly eighty-two percent of the total current assets is cash, which is amazing. That's actually it's actually pretty impressive. Uh, two to one current assets versus current liability ratio, ten million in current assets and five million in current liabilities, and eight million in stockholder equity position. So that's a little more on the. Um, some of the fundamentals if you guys want to see that but get, going to the real meat and potatoes here um these have been on wall street bets this is reddit but this is talking about the lawsuit it has with philip morris infringement and we see here people talking about hcm hcmc and all of this here it has been on reddit it's been on wall street bets as well this isn't wall street bets but let's see we can see here Wall Street bets. They they have what was it, 17 days ago. Again, you guys know that's my lucky number. 17 days ago, someone posted um, six million shares was bought. Okay, 712 comments. I mean, this thing has been all over. I invested on Monday. All types of stuff. I invested on Monday. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you son of a bitch. I'm in. I'm in. I'm investing all my money. Is it still worth it? Da 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 da. All this craziness that comes with Wall Street bets. Um, it has it's been posted 17 days ago, so it's in the system. Who knows if it'll be picked up? But this is one of the real reasons. Another, you know, Wall Street, it being on Wall Street bets, and how it has increased so quickly over the past couple weeks. And then this here, Healthier Choices Management Corp files patent infringement lawsuit against Philip Morris. So they're basically suing Philip Morris because of a, they infringed on the patent. They stole a patent. Now, what could happen is Philip Morris could be could say, yeah, we did wrong and pay him the money. And that would obviously boost, you know, some morale with the stock and shoot the stock up or nothing could happen or they could drag it out or they could, you know, counter sue and say, hey, no, we we haven't been doing any of this. But I definitely see this shooting up over the next I don't know, maybe within the next month, shooting up to at least a penny right up. Uh, but that's just me personally. Now, you cannot trade this on Robinhood. You can't trade this on Webull. You have to use like Fidelity or, you know, something along the lines of that. Because this is a over-the-counter pink sheets stock. Okay. But, guys, that's basically what I want to show you about this here stock. Am I going to invest in it personally? I might. You know, depending on what happens this next week, I'm going to keep my eye on it. If it continues to rise, I will buy some. I do have a Fidelity account that I... Do not show you guys because it's for my personal use only, right? But uh, if I do hop in, I'll definitely let you guys know in the community section. But uh, yo, if you enjoyed this video, if you found anything out of it, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button and hit that red subscribe button to join this little family we have going on, guys. Again, listen, this is a high risk but high reward scenario here, guys. Again, I'm not a financial advisor. I just do this for fun and I... We try to help each other out on this channel. You know what I mean? But yo, let me know in the comments below what you think about this company here. This also someone did ask me on my Instagram about this and I was making a video on it. So hopefully you get to see this, homie. Um, but yeah, like I said, am I going to get into it? I'm definitely going to keep an eye on it and see. 
I'll let you guys know um, in the community tab and on Instagram if I do decide to hop into this here company. But keep your eyes peeled for this here, guys. Let me know in the comments below, like I said, what you guys think about this company. If you guys want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment with me, go ahead and click one of these videos. I'm going to get out of here, guys. Peace, love, and prosperity.